Hey, buenos dias, que paso, John's Motor Garage. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're on two-wheeled bicycles and I'm gonna talk about my worst accident ever. I should say this is the worst accident I ever got on film. And yeah, let's check it out. Today I'm gonna to share with you guys my worst accident, wreck, crash, whatever you wanna call it that I've had on two wheels. Does anybody know that if you ride on two wheels, you run the risk of getting in an accident or a wreck? A lot of people say it's not if, just when something's gonna happen. That's not entirely true. I do know people who have been riding a long time and have never gone down, but odds are if you're out there riding a lot and or if you're trying new things, that at some point something's gonna happen. Now I've been fortunate on a motorcycle never to have had any major or serious accidents. I've had some close calls, but luckily I've been pretty safe. a few bikes, nothing at high speed. I've slid out a few times, but again, nothing gnarly, nothing where I was severely injured. Fortunately, knock on wood. But the same can't be said for my two-wheeled cousin, the BMX bike here. Bam. So technically my worst accident ever was not on a motorcycle, it was actually on a BMX bike. If you don't know, I grew up riding BMX, mostly street, just as a hobby. I never got to any like pro level but I had a blast doing it. That was my life for a number of years in like middle school up until a little bit of high school. Not racing, but going out riding in the streets and that kind of thing. So today I'm gonna to share with you guys, probably not my worst accident ever, but the worst one that I actually got on film. And viewer discretion, to some this may be a little bit gnarly, you could say, so watch at your own risk. All right, so there you have it. Basically, I was in a full poop, full poop. There you have it, I was in a full pipe going back and forth and I just went a little bit too high and came down right on my face. And of course, I wasn't wearing a helmet, but yeah, it was gnarly. And leading up to that, I remember I had had a concussion on a skateboard, like one or two pretty good sized concussions on a skateboard. And that was like the third gnarly concussion I'd had in, the matter of, in a matter of just a couple months. And honestly, with my memory loss and all the other things I deal with now, I contribute some of that to all the concussions I had growing up because I probably had like a good five or six, maybe more, riding bikes and skateboards. So yeah, it's no joke. But anyway, I over, I went too high on the full pipe, came down, slammed right on my face. But I remember going into it knowing, like telling myself, dude, don't black out. And I slammed onto my face and I instantly got up and ran out of there. I, I think my fear was if I just laid there, I was just gonna black out. And so I actually had a minor concussion, but I never ended up losing consciousness. So no LOC, which is good, but it was a gnarly crash nonetheless. And the crazy thing is I ended up going into work that night. I worked at a restaurant, fast food, and I went into work that night. I had the worst headache ever. Of course, I didn't go to ER or anything, get a CT scan and get it checked out. Um, I probably had some swelling, who knows, maybe a very small bleed, probably not, but um, definitely a concussion. It was gnarly stuff. So. Yeah, ride safe out there. You never know when or what could happen. And so obviously with the motorcycles now, I'm always wearing a helmet for the most part. There you have it, leave a comment below. Have you ever had a gnarly accident, whether it be on two-wheeled bicycles or motorcycles? Drop a comment below, let me know. As always, I appreciate the support. If you dig the content, like, and subscribe, you can hit me on Instagram, at John's Motocrudge, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.